Greetings. We are Alexander. So today you have a special day with five people becoming teachers. Though you may not think that's going to be your, quote, life's mission, but it will be. We tell you that. One of the things I, I want to talk about is to try to expand your consciousness or your awareness just at all. Now, all of you are in this physical realm, so you are, for the most part, believing that you are completely consciously aware of everything that's around you. You're aware of the air that you're breathing. You're aware of the walls, the glass, the chair that you're sitting in the body that you're occupying. All of those are part of that awareness on the physical plane. <coughs> but what we are suggesting to you is there's also another plane. Now, probably the closest we can come to explaining that is, is what has been described far as before as the ethers, a spiritual plane or some other realm of existence, but it's another dimension that you're involved with or evolving with just as you're on this physical plane. This is the realm where you touch guides, teachers, and angels, where you have access to all the information that is there. So that is where we are coming from. And that is where you have access to it. You do not have to read books. You do not have to pre-plan your lectures, your talks, or your teaching. You simply tune in and, and let what happens, happens. Now, the first thing you will say, well, how do I know I'm getting what I want. <laughs> you already are attuned by your reality, by the things that you want, the things you're experiencing. So when you tune in to this other dimension, what you're going to receive is that same type of information. That is the magnetic attraction that you pull to you. So when you wish to have a talk with a teacher or a guide, if you do or do not know the name, it doesn't make a lot of difference. It is your energy that attracts that type of information, that type of uh, awareness, that consciousness. And what we have to tell you, it's all around it. It is you. It is like the air that you're breathing right now. That consciousness is around you. It is not unlike the ocean. Now we recognize that when you're here in this physical body, you do not think much about the air you breathe, but without that you do not exist. So we'll say, take the ocean for instance. If you were a fish, then Perhaps you don't have awareness, but that is what you live in. That is where you work, that is where you play, that is where you think, that is where you relax, that is where you express yourself. Because that is the dimension that you're in. You're in this rather lighter dimension, you would say this air that is around you. And you think, it is simply something that I breathe, it has temperature, so I'm aware of that. But beyond that, you do not think of what else is there. And what we're proposing to you, what is there? is your thoughts, your thinking. You are this thinking machine is what we'll call you. You have these thoughts as consciousness awareness and you project those thoughts into this physical realms and you begin to occupy bodies. Now there's a belief that you have to select the body that you're going to come into. Not necessarily. If you project yourself here, there's a body available for you. It simply will happen if that is what your desire is. But it has something to do with what you are being consciously. So if you are a kind, loving person, then that is the body that you're going to occupy. That is going to be the society you're in. That's going to be the family that you're in. If it's otherwise, then it is represented there too. So recognize when you are thinking on this other side, as we'll call it, what you attract, the body that you attract, the society, the format, everything about that is your creation. Now, what is most fascinating is this other side. You think, well, I am this individual. So when I am on the other side, I'm like a drop of water in the ocean. I drop in the ocean and I still remain this solid piece of individual. But that's not what happens. When you leave this body, you enter a stream that represents you and it is constantly moving. 
So you are not just in one place, you're in every place. It is like streams, if you can imagine, we would say in the ethers that flow. So whatever your reality is, whatever you believe, whatever you see, that is what you become as part of this stream. If somebody wishes to touch you, then if they can identify your name, then you are instantly there. So it is somewhat different than this physical realm. You are always omnipresent, you're always fully aware, and you live with that conscious and awareness. That's what allows you to create. So you are creative beings, always thinking, always creating. And it's what you create for the most part is one of these physical bodies on this side so that you can experience and validate your thoughts and your beliefs. So you have thought and you created this physical body, so here you are creating that. And most of you here, I think, probably are aware that your thoughts create. You create the world that you're in. That is exactly what you're doing. If you create a world where you think it's out of control and you have nothing to say about it, things happen to you. <laughs> it's a good creation also, you see, because that is a firm belief and that belief goes out and creates everything exactly like you expect to happen. If you expect the other shoe to drop, it's going to drop and probably on your head. So recognize that you're creative beings and that creativeness comes from this ether, we would say, this stream that you are. Now you're this individual stream, but you're not individualized. You connect with other like thoughts, other like awarenesses, and you flow from this stream, you become this gigantic river. So whatever you are, totally is immersed in this similar stream that is everywhere and it's timeless. So if you believe that or have believed that you're here in this dimension and everything else ceases to exist, we disagree with you. You are conscious beings in the ethers whether or not you are embodied in a body or not. You are just as much there and aware in consciousness as someone that has left this plane. As all the great, we would say, beings that have come before you, Jesus, Buddha, any of those, you have as much consciousness on that side as you do this side. The only difference between you and someone like Jesus is you do not have the PR. <laughs> you have not been exposed on a great awareness. So most of the people that simply want to tune in, to, if you're at least a Christian in this site, you're going to tune into Jesus' Jesus's energies. But he's not the only one there. He's simply one that is a superstar. If you wish to be a superstar, are you willing to be crucified? You go through all that, you see? So recognize how that dimension works. But you have family, you have friends. So if they wish to talk to you on the other side, after you have left this plane, you're still there, you're still available, you still are the same being. So recognize that you are multidimensional beings and you are here growing and learning and you have full access to that other side. It is full of whatever and whoever you are. So whatever you wish to accomplish, whatever you believe, that conscious awareness creates on this side. Now, what we're doing is getting you aware that you are part of the other side, but God's teachers and angels are everything that is on the other side. They are, in a sense, PR representatives of that particular type of energies. So if you wish to talk to a guide, teacher, angel, and if you want to individualize them, if you want to identify them, that is fine too. If you want to talk to Grandpa, <laughs> and simply ask for that energy and it will show up. Now, it doesn't mean they're any more spiritually aware than they were when they're here, but most of them will have gained somewhat. So you're on the other side and it's as easily as clicking a switch. Simply decide that. If you are physical beings, most of the problems is going to be that you do not believe fully that you are creative beings. You do not believe that you have this other realm that you have access. You do not believe that you can create a reality. You do not believe that you can completely communicate 
with guides, teachers, or angels to the point to where whatever you want to know, you simply ask, and it is there. And it is a continual flow. So when you touch that realm, notice that things begin to move. Now, if you touch the other side and you've touched this particular teacher or guide, and it says, hello, how are you? And then it stops. <laughs> you're not quite attuned just yet. When you're attuned, that information is a flow that is endless. The stream keeps moving and you keep gathering more and more information. Now, the first thing you will say, well, do I learn from that? And we have to tell you, you cannot but learn. Everything is for your benefit, so allow it to flow. If you wish to touch a teacher's energy, simply step in, release all judgments, allow it to flow. Now, if this one tells you to go to the other side of the world and get involved in a war and a battle, is that authentic? <laughs> if that's what you need, that's authentic. There's something there for you, so trust when you touch those on the other side, they are there for your best interest. Now, it may not seem as that if they have taken the other side of the world, you're involved in a war and a battle, and you lose your physical life. That would seem to be a disaster on one plane. But there is something there that you demanded to the point to where you wound up there. That is what they are suggesting is there for you. They're there for your highest and the best. Simply trust. Now, it doesn't mean you do not have judgment. That doesn't mean you have to do everything they say. They are not there to tell you what to do. They are simply there for your information. So you're the one that makes the final choice. You choose what you wish to do. So how do you attune to your guides and teachers or to this other side? Number one, you trust them. If you want information, this is your best source beyond any book, beyond any beyond any teacher that you will find here, including this that is a Bible or anything else. Whatever you need, whatever you identify is there. And it is there, fully open for you. It is unique to you and to your energy. Simply allow it to flow. Now, you all have those teachers. And one of the reasons we are trying to present this to you is because you have five beings here that are becoming teachers and there is a, perhaps a assumption that you are educated to the point of being reverends or presenters and what we have to tell you is you're just beginning. Tune in to those energies and it goes beyond anything that you have ever touched before. Whatever you wish to bring up in an instant. Now, example, demonstration suggest something that you're curious about and we'll give you a little bit of an example. We do not claim to be perfected at this, but we would simply say it happens in an essence. You do not have to research any of this. It is there, totally. All you have to do is to tune in. And you tune in simply by believing, trusting, and love. You have this song, Choose Love, very appropriate. Choose happiness over sorrow. Choose abundance over poverty. Everything that you do, you do it with a sense of love. That is a magnetic attraction that brings exactly what you wish to do. So when something happens to you, or for you, recognize there's a reason for it. There's a purpose, and if you will follow with that, you will begin to discover that perhaps you were detained for some reason. So you're running late, so you're in a big rush to get someplace, and you see there's a car accident in front of you. Maybe just a few seconds ahead of that, if you had taken it, you would have been involved in that. Or perhaps you are in a hurry and you have an accident. Then perhaps there was something that you needed to experience in that accident. What we're saying to you is do not judge it by the physical senses. Allow it to be what it is. So do any of you have a subject that you wish to play with us just a little? And we will suggest to you that perhaps there is a, a stream that is ready available. 
doesn't require books, doesn't require any education, it simply requires a little bit of love and a little bit of awareness. So no one, huh? it is most delightful that none of you have the desire to know anything other than what you know already. You have one. <laughs> the easiest way is to simply turn loose of that requirement. The more that you have a want or a need, the more you have held yourself locked in that position. So if you were wanting to have more people come and you do everything you can and you do all kind of advertisement and you twist everybody's arm and says, come and join us, that is the energy you have created and it keeps replicating itself further and further on. It doesn't mean you will not gain some. But if you turn loose of that requirement and say, I'm here to enjoy myself, then that energy is what pulls in everyone else. If you love that experience, then that love goes out and brings more and more in. So you see, it is a creation that you create. And you are basically thinking, aware consciousness on this other side. And whatever you truly believe, heartfelt belief, that is what's happened. But we have to tell you that you're here for yourself. This whole world is about you. No one else, no thing else exists. You are the complete creator and it is here for your involvement, for your evolvement, and for your pleasure, or for your fear. You see, you get to choose what the world is going to be like. You are the creator of that. So if you wish to have God's teachers and angels, then simply honor them and allow them to come in and speak. And you don't have to plan a long lecture. You don't have to spend months trying to say, this is what I want to do and I'll research this and the Bible says this and the history book says this. If you're trying to get a point across, simply allow them to come in and present it to you. So if you wish to fill your centers, then recognize you're the only one that is necessary. Show up by yourself. And the strange thing begins to happen because then other people's that are looking, that are seeking, will feel that energy, that attraction. And for some reason, those consciousness thoughts and thinkings begin to intermingle. And the first thing you know, some way they have heard about you and the place that you are enjoying. And they come to see if it is part of their destiny to be there. So if you do this, 20 years and only two people show up, and you're one of them, you have accomplished exactly what you're after. You have fulfilled your desire, your requirements. But if you look around and you judge for some other reason, you say, I'm not attracting enough people, then you have missed the whole point. It is like when you are writing a book and you're playing. There's assumption that you're writing this for the greater world. The reality is you're writing it for yourself. No one else matters. It allows you to put down your thoughts and your thinking in some sort of logical order that you can follow and it validates your thinking. And if you never do that, then it is like so many lost notes. Memory is a fleeting thing, but when you begin to put it down, it validates that. You see? Yes. When you come into this plane of existence, the whole idea is to come in and to enjoy yourself, to extend yourself beyond anything you've ever done before. When you have reached a certain awareness that you are this individual who are having this dramatic experience, you begin to love everything around you, then you want to share that. The way to share that is to get other people involved not by force, but simply by choice that they make themselves. So that is, we would say, the way things happen. Now, that doesn't mean <laughs> it happens perfectly. When you're in time and space, and you have a society, and you have ways of things 
that have to happen and you have to play that game also. It's like a game of chess. So you simply present what you perceive to be your reality and the things that you wish, but it takes conscious awareness of saying, this is what I am being, this is my desires, my intent, and you simply turn it loose. It doesn't mean it comes out perfectly for everyone else, but it comes out perfect for you. And if there's something that you need to learn there, then that is your, we would say, learning grounds. So did I learn from that experience? Most certainly. We found that you cannot control other beings. But the more that you love them, the more that you love your experiences, the more delightful it is for you here. And in the last moment that you're here, if you can change your mind so that you love everything that's happened, you even love this death experience, you'll be amazed where you wind up the next time because you will wind up in such a lovely place, much like heaven. And it is your creation, your awareness that has done that. It is not because everyone else has decided this is utopia. You are the one that creates it. Every moment, everything, every thought, creates, and you are the creator of that. Accept that and then you will begin to love everything. Everything that happens, every moment. The moment that you are aware of right now, that you're breathing. Love that moment. The alternative <laughs> is you're out of here, you see. People exist on this plane as long as they wish. Most people leave because they are bored to death, not because they have some disease. That is rather the effect. But when you lose passion for life and you think there's nothing here for you, that thought begins to manifest around you. So the body begins to mirror exactly what you're thinking, good, bad, or ugly. Now, sounds like a difficult world, no? What if everything you wanted and desired you could create and we give you this? What if you were perfectly aware that your consciousness created? Every time you have a thing that happens or a thing that you are aware of that you do not love, you're creating chaos your world. Every time you judge something, you're creating chaos in your world. Every time you look upon somebody and, and say this person is imperfect because they have some obvious defect, <laughs> you're creating chaos in your world. And yet you love everything and it begins to manifest, it begins to outpicture exactly as you wish it to be. And it is all within a thought. And you can live in either conscious awareness where you think the world is disaster or you think the world is heaven. And it can be the same place. And notice your awareness is the only thing that makes it different. But when you have decided you're loving everything, everything becomes loving. And if you believe everything is a disaster or a disaster waiting to happen, it becomes that also. And that is what you call your reality. Now, if we could create such a realm, <laughs> everyone would want to play, would they not? So here you are. It is a game, people. It is a play. It is here for your benefit. You are the number one actor. You're the producer. You're the audience. And you get to observe everything that has been created. So the movie is running. How do you like it? If you do not like it, change your thoughts. It is as simple as that and it is as difficult as that. It's your choice, you see. By your thinking, you create. You are these beings. Now, we have to tell you there was no prep for this talk. This one the, is a mouthpiece. Simply showed up and sits over there watching and observing and chuckling. But you have the same access. Simply tune into that energy. You may or may not feel a shift in energy, but 
when you attune to that, it begins to flow. You do not need a sheet of your paper. You do not need notes. You simply allow it to happen. So you think, well, what if I bomb? <laughs> then love that bombing. You say everything is there for your benefit. If you do it enough, it is like a musician. Practice, practice, practice. It doesn't necessarily make you perfect, but you get better at it. And it is like creation. So those of you that are here starting this new journey as a teacher, as never before, we wish you to be able to touch your teachers and to, we would say, rely on that information. And if you wish to write it down, then you have no books. But you are in touch with something that has never been recorded for books to you to read. It is in the ethers and it is exactly tailored to your energies. Everything that you need to know, everything that you need to teach is there. And if you stand up here and you begin to be forgetful and tongue-tied, relax. It is a game. You're not judged by anyone except you. Everyone else has their own game. And if they're here and they're listening to this, then their take on it will be different than the next one and the next one. You see, and you thought you were all the same. <laughs> so we have five individuals that are going to go five different ways. And the things that you take or teach and experience are going to be very unique to you. So that is what we're here saying to you. Touch your guides, your teachers, your angels, whatever you call them. Recognize that they blend with your energies, they flow with your energies, and you flow with theirs. And you will grow and you will evolve and you will learn and you will know things much beyond this physical plane can teach you. This is the effect plane. This is the results of what you have thought. It begins to manifest around you. The bodies that you occupy are mirrors to how you are being, how you are feeling. You see, you will wind up with these frown wrinkles or smile wrinkles. You will get wrinkles, we have to tell you. It is called experience, I think. So, notice that there is no subject that is beyond you. We show up and your energies are vibrating so delightful that you are here on this very special occasion to become, at least you believe, teachers and you have always been that. You simply have decided to play that a little bit more up front. The game changed, the cards have changed, but it is still something that you should enjoy, you should delight in, that you can touch one person and say, hey, you are a creator doesn't mean you have to twist your arm, but you are the demonstration of that ability, that belief, and if they are searching, then you are the key. Five keys, the whole world is open. You're Alexander. <clears throat>